Hello again everybody, it's Jay Britton here again, uh, casting Dominion's Fall. This is the third turn in the game Beaver. Um, I've already done most of this turn, uh, I mistakenly didn't record it properly. Um, so I'll just go over it again. Uh, so I've got a message here from Yomi, saying, Imagine Tech Crew is saying, I love you. That's very sweet from Yomi. Uh, Polgrave, uh, this is the um, heavy cavalry province we attacked into. Uh, let's have a look at what happened. So, as we can see, they have split almost instantly from the pack. Uh, Mark just didn't target the Mantic Miners, as kind of predicted. Uh, Summon the Courage, buffing up uh, my troops for the inevitable Lance Charge. Uh, my guys hold their own pretty well. Serumation Arch, they're in a bit of a pickle, but that's the way that I think they're going to put down to a ramp, and they do. And then the Lance is going. Uh, the rest is really cleaning up at this point, I think. See, the uh, problem with our uh, raiders um, is that after the first strike, uh, they lose the eggs and bow. That is just the way of it. It's just something we've got to deal with when it comes to lances, I think. And that's uh, basically the end of the battle. Um, Valador is the uh, Border Mountains province, as predicted. Uh, light infantry, militias, and a couple of archers. No big deal. Uh, Sauramatia, we've got an event. Uh, it's a pretty good event. I uh, got a Flesh Eater, which is a relatively high construction, I think, um, axe. Uh, anything that gets hit by it gets an instant chest wound. Uh, pretty handy if you are building to fight uh, a specific thug. Uh, I'm not going to equip it, um, at least for a while. Black Steel Plate is a. Um, Item just increases your armor uh, at the cost of some encumbrance. Uh, Black Fist uh, actually got bought, which is quite a nice surprise. Uh, didn't bid him up very much at all. Um, and I've set them to attack Valador. Uh, they should absolutely fucking trounce everything in that province. Um, Edward Black Fist has a crossbow, so I've told him to fire, 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 fire rear. Um, Commanders can do this, uh, your ordinary troops cannot. Uh, the specific commanders um, that you can only get by charming them have a fire commander order, uh, but that is no longer able to be copied. Uh, if you get Bogus uh, and his friends, who are a misfortune event, um, they, a group of five guys inspired, I think, by uh, Dominion's Creators uh, Dungeons and Dragons campaigns, uh, all show up and they are kind of difficult to deal with, to be honest, uh, for a lot of nations, because they have a flyer, this bowman who shoots your commanders, and a couple of mages. Uh, on the positive side, they do drop some nice items. So they should win over there. That's me counting my chickens full of hatch, maybe, but it should be okay. Um, over here, my prophet is coming back to the capsule to pick up uh, the troops left behind. So we've got a few lancers there. Uh, Sauramation Archers and these guys, uh, Antifrag Archers, I will probably leave in the province. Um, I'm kind of keeping them around as a last ditch defence against any uh, Russian Vanheim or Helheim. Um, which is maybe a waste of gold, but at the same time, I'd much rather have them there and be able to use them than not. Uh, Silvius is sneaking uh, through here and eventually down to over here to see who this is. I'm guessing the capital is either in this province or this one. Um, just because I don't think there's anyone uh, who has a tendency to spawn in a um, a swamp in this game. Uh, and I doubt it'll be this province just because the um, connections are so low for it. Although uh, maybe it will, uh, just because I guess it might count this as a uh, an acceptable connection. Um, in terms of other stuff I'm doing, uh, I've got a research set up, it'll finish Conjuration 1 next turn. I'm gonna go down Enchantment uh, and try and get to raise Skeletons uh, relatively quickly. Um, this means if I get any Inari, um, they will be able to uh, summon up much more um, uh, Skeletons in the uh, kind of battlefield. So I think it's three at a time to the one at a time you get from an skeleton, which is not much use, um, frankly. So at that point they become a much more real kind of threat to enemy troops, because with 
uh, let's say five to ten in RE, you can get what fifteen to thirty odd skeletons per turn for a bunch of turns, and that very quickly adds up. Uh, and it does great stuff like uh, distracts enemy priest mages. Um, it, uh, at the end of the day, just provides a big blocking wall for if uh, the enemy has any of their own battlefield summons or stuff like fly and set hold and attack. Uh, very practical. So once uh, Neil kind of gets back to Sorimation is going to pick up these troops, I'm going to go straight into Darkwoods, follow up with Klon, and then um, depending on if this has been taken or not yet, uh, may or may not be, um, I'll probably go there assuming it doesn't have uh, really high levels of summoning cataphracts. Cataphracts are basically the upgraded version of Heavy Cav that are the strongest uh, indie unit I think you would normally find in EA. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but they're pretty solid. Uh, this over here is some boring plains province, no one cares. Um, this is a swamp province on a coast, so it could have uh, ichthyids or it could have uh, lizards. Those are the uh, kind of normal stuff you get over there. Uh, who knows what we're seeing here? It's another plains province, presumably of some normal um, light infantry or archers or whatever. Um, but usually nothing major. It'd be great if it was uh, some like Chris Lansons. Um, I've had a few of those spawn in uh, provinces when I've been running test games. It never quite goes as well as other test games, but um, they would be very useful for my nation. I hope they've got innate uh, air and astral majors, which is superb for um, Sorimatia, because it means you can uh, communion them uh, to cast all of the battlefield air stuff you would ever really need. And since we're against some quite big um, earth threats, that means no more uh, earthquake, or at least a lessened risk, and um, it's just generally a useful tree to have some, at the very least, minor access to in terms of uh, battlefield summons, so you get uh, lesser air elements and so on. Um, and because they're ethereal, they can go straight through walls if you are attacking an enemy fort, um, which is uh, really helpful if uh, people start stacking up their troops in the gate. Anyway, that's by the by. Uh, that's my turn right now. Um, in terms of mercenaries, got the wet ones. The wet ones are a um, you know pale ones. Maybe people just aren't paying attention to the mercenaries tab. So um, I've bit them up a tiny bit, but not very much. Uh, they'll be spawning around here if uh, if I get them. Uh, if I do get them, they'll be running into Ganumia, and then we'll see where they go from there. Um, Ordinarily, you would take them towards a water province. Uh, since I'm against Relia, Relia is um, genuinely dangerous underwater because um, they have all kinds of mine blasts and stuff. And with independent troops, which is all you'd ever get in a uh, province defense, they will just run over them. It won't even be a problem. Plus, I can't even make a forward stand there. So, um, in that respect, I'm just going to leave them to it. And uh, hopefully, they won't try and get on land, although to be fair I'm pretty uh, pretty well set to throw them back into the sea. Anyway, thanks for watching and that's the end of my turn. Goodbye.